Welcome back to the town of beloved yet neglected companions. Hooray! Look at all of them here. There's Rusty and... Yeah, they're all here. Vincent. We got it. Roxy and Settler. He was my favorite one. I hear Joe Sellers is in town and wants to talk to us. Who's Joe Sellers? I think he has a job offer for us. You? Are you there? Are you here for the delivery job? Come closer, please. I suppose I am. Yes. I recognize you. A regular courier would suffice, but you... Well, this is fortuitous. You're a person of many parts, aren't you? Uh, yes. Legs, arms, torso. I heard you cheated death. Head with a bullet in it? Left quite a mark around here. Nothing like being dug out of a shallow grave to give you perspective, eh? It happened so long ago, he doesn't even remember. All this time. Everything you've done. Your choices. The people you've killed. What people? You can't control that story. You may not realize it, but you're becoming the stuff of legend. Ugh, no I'm not. Whether you like it or not, if not for my infirm condition, I'd be apt to hear your take on things. You have made your choices, seen the consequences... And I did much the same, long ago, in another life. I am still paying for those choices. Couriers have a special role, one of trust. I hope you will maintain that fidelity, as this delivery... It's... Stop it. <laughs> I can't put this off any longer. I want you to deliver a package to a man in Westside. His name is Bradley. In exchange, I will pay you 500 caps. Oh, wow. All up front. Consider it a gesture of goodwill and trust. Is the proposal satisfactory? Yeah, we'll do it. Next time, don't talk for so long. As I expected... You are perfect for the job. Oh, God. Deliver this letter and key to Bradley, a mercenary under the employ of the West Side Militia. Once the letter is delivered, you are free of any responsibility to me. However, if you elect to assist Bradley, <laughs> I will be in your debt. I hope. This will be an end to things. A just settlement. Good luck, courier. I would like to be alone now. To do some drugs? Is that what yeah, you want to be alone you're for? You're going to do a bunch of drugs? Well, you're not going to be doing drugs for long, because I'm going to steal them. You can't steal an old man's drugs. <laughs> I mean... No, I can't steal them, but I can put them where he can't reach them. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> wait, wait. He can still reach them there. Oh, yes, old man. Soon you won't be able to do drugs ever again, because I'm putting them on top of this cabinet. <laughs> Get wrecked, old man. Oh, you want this stim pack? I bet you do. I bet you do want this stim pack. Well, guess what? I'm a dick. <laughs> Look at me go! You can't do jack about it. <laughs> of all the things you've done in your life, this is probably the least harmful. Hmm, buff out. Oh boy, it sure would be a shame if you were too weak to grab it. But right there where you can see it, but you can't get it. <laughs> Away I go! Mike, you want to hear my impression of Joe Sellers? No, because I want to do something before I die of old age. Well, back when I was 12 or 13 years old, or maybe it was 14, or perhaps 15 years old. Maybe, no, I think I was, tw it was 12? I was 12 years old. Oh, <laughs> And, um, what's uh, going on here? Somebody had just woken me up out of bed, and I was very tired. Had enough? And I believe that maybe a fiend came into town. 
Uh, it was just one fiend, though, yes, right? It was <laughs> this fiend came into town, and I had just purchased a red shirt that I very much liked. Are we gonna help these guys fight off these fiends or not? No, we're gonna go talk to Bradley. Look, I'm on duty. If you've got something to say, make it quick. Listen, Jagoff, I just hauled this letter across the desert for you. How about some gratitude, huh? Service with a smile, huh? Yeah. I'm on watch right now. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Look, don't get your panties in a wad. Let me finish this shift, and I'll sign for the package. <laughs> just... Wait. I thought I heard something. Fuck. Fiends from the West. No! Sign for the package! Sign for the package, sir! 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 You have to sign for this package! You can't! He's on duty! He's busy killing fiends! I don't care if you're on duty or not! Sign for the damn package! Alright, fine. I guess I have to help. We're gonna charge you extra for this, by the way. This wasn't covered by the original contract. More inbound from that house. Light him up. What house? Oh, that one? Alright, hang on. That's not a calf gun, fuck nuts. Watch it. <laughs> I like this guy already! He's got some sass! Oh, just because he mouthed off to me, that's why you like him? Yes! Mike, watch where you're pointing that gun! Stop flagging your team members, jackhole! Why don't you kill enemies, actually? Actually, the gun you're using has a Trigicon ankle on it with a reflex sight on the top of it, but the reflex sight doesn't actually work because it's covered up. So, uh, actually... Oh, for God's sake. I'm charging d triple for this one. <laughs> okay. Come on! Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Suck on this grenade. It's as big as my penis. Suck on this grenade. It's a pretty short penis you got there. Yeah, but it's thick. I have had it with you and your stupid fiend <laughs> bullshit. God damn. I haven't seen that many raiders since I guarded a caravan passing through 80s territory. You're a courier, right? After that little fracas, color me impressed. You moved like a merc. Glad you were here. Since we got a little breathing room, I'd like to check out that package. A sealed letter. Let's see what it says. No, you have to wait for your <clears> shift <throat> to be over. Dear Bradley, my name is Joe Sellers. I'm almost certain you've never heard of me. No shit. <laughs> When I wrote this letter, I was unsure if I'd summon the nerve to send it. Okay. I made choices long ago that impacted you more than you may know. I often question my decisions, how things turned out. I will get to the point. I am your father. Yep. I separated with your mother not long after you were born. The reasons for my decision are complicated. It was not for lack of feeling or to shirk responsibility. Pfft, bull fucking shit. Mm. On the contrary, I became an exile to ensure your safety. Not long after I met your mother, there was a war, and I was on the losing side. Mere association with me could be mistaken for complicity. As a result, I cut all ties with your mother. She went to Reno, and I wandered. I've no doubt you harbor resentment for my actions. Fuck you. <laughs> if you hate me or only wish to ignore me, I only beg you to accept my parting gift. Consider it my feeble attempt to reckon for your abandonment. I know you have subsisted as a soldier of fortune for some time. I never wanted that life for you. Better than your life, cocksucker. <laughs> there is a vault in the Mojave that contains enough wealth to let you start anew. You could leave the hazards of the frontier behind you. There is nothing I can offer to make up for the pain I inflicted on you and your mother, but I still owe you this birthright. It is all that I have left. Make no mistake, this is not a simple salvage. You must walk a dangerous path to collect the means to access the God, Let's go! Come on, let's go! I believe your profession has given you the skills and necessary fortitude to see this through. Enclosed with this letter is a key. The first of three required to open the vault. Oh, for God's sake. The next key is in Linus Caverns in the Mesquite Mountains. It's been so long since these measures were put in place, I have no idea what you'll find there aside from the next key. I understand if you wish to dispose of this note and erase any notion of connection to me, you would be more than justified. Consider this my last will and testament. Your father, Joe Sellers. He was kind of old. I didn't know he was going to die soon or anything. Well, luckily we took his drugs away so he can't kill himself. Yeah, we put the drugs on top of a shelf. Unless that was life-saving medication, in which case we've doomed him. No bullshit. Is this some kind of con? Come clean or I'll butt-stroke your fucking skull.
If it is a con, we're not in on it. I do my job and you want to get fresh? Fuck you and your daddy issues. Careful. Shoot the messenger can take on a literal quality. They said don't do that! I just wanted to be sure that you're not pulling one on me. Sorry, I got you all hot and bothered. What the fuck am I supposed to make of this letter anyway? I don't know, man. Some old coot writes me, says I can have his legendary stash. Even if it's a con, it's shit. He expects me to go digging through fuck knows what kind of shitholes to get some keys? Fuck that noise. I don't know, he didn't really strike me as a liar or a huckster, whatever the hell that is. This letter could be the real deal. Still, I have no way of knowing if he's just another asshole. If he's what I think he is, ex-enclave, that could be worth my time. That was my guess, too. Those old bastards still have munitions dumps scattered around. A lot of pre-war tech sells for a mean price out here. Fucking Van Graffs gouge the shit out of everyone. It'd be fun to undercut them. It would be. I'm not opposed to investigating this, and I'd be willing to split some of the goods if you help out. Seems you know how to handle yourself. Only thing is that I'm under contract to West Side, and as you just saw, there's something of a fiend problem. I don't know where they get the manpower, but fiends keep coming out of the woodwork to attack West Side. Even though badass bounty hunters killed some of their ringleaders, it seems someone else is stepping in to stir them into a frenzy. Rumor has it some strung-out witch doctor has the fiends on a drug-fueled holy ward against West Side. Witch doctor? Really, I, I couldn't make this up. <laughs> It seems he's holed up in the old Hoffman mine just west of here. If you can take him out, the fiend attacks should taper off. If the fiends are neutralized, I should be clear of my duties here, at least long enough to track down the vault. I have to stand watch, but I'll throw in some caps if you take care of this for me. Afterward, we can strike off together. Deal? It does sound like a lark. Good. Here's a few things I was holding on to. They should help you clear those fuckers out. Just check back with me when it's done. What are you, three bullets? Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa! Three, whoa! Three C4 <laughs> blasting explosive! Hell yeah! All right! Yeah, they're probably coming out of here. You can tell by the markings. And by markings, I mean dead body impaled on a meat hook. Mm hmm Two dead bodies. Hello! We're here to kill you all! But you already knew that, which is why you armed yourself with the deadliest weapon. A pool cue! <laughs> what a bunch of morons. <laughs> Fiends are so stupid. You thought you could hide from me? No, not really. Whoa! <laughs> Who's putting on the laser show? Pew, pew, pew. It's Laser Zeppelin. We'll use this body as a meat shield. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> you know, it probably will, based on this game's physics. <laughs> It'll probably at least stop a couple of the bullets from hitting me. My initial assumption was that that was a dumb idea, but now I'm intrigued. Oh, that's a grenade! actually kind of worked! <laughs> they're all shooting at you, not me. That's kind of a I bummer. Think the, I think the meat shield might be working. They're just, they're, <laughs> it's disguising me. I actually have not been hit very much. <laughs> and they're all dead, you're welcome. All you had to do was be a literal meat shield for me. I think I got hit twice. <laughs> we killed like 10 fiends. Yeah, that's uh, kind of amazing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the meat shield actually blocked some of the damage from that grenade. I found the witch doctor! Oh, Ooh, hello! Oh, whoa, oh, hello! Shulkin! Ooh, I thought I saw boobies for a second there. You did, and then you killed them! Well, no, I, I mean, I thought I thought they popped out. Oh. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for killing these scantily clad, poor, unarmed ladies. Yeah, that one had a baton. It was justified. We ruined another orgy. God damn it! <laughs> Shulkin! If you give me one more excuse about the drop off in attacks, you can forget about the drugs and weapons. His. We dug you out of the gutter and put you in power. We can find a replacement just as easily. Lay off the jet and stop believing your own bullshit sermons. His. You can't hide in that mine forever, having an endless orgy. If you stall or try to run, we'll find you and cut your balls off. Do you understand? His. Get those junkies off their asses and keep the pressure on West Side. I don't give a fuck about mercenaries or bounty hunters. Hastings let me know about them, and I don't give a shit. Make it happen or you'll be singing castrato, bitch. Chase. We should talk to Chase and tell him we- Oh god, there's the ledge here! <laughs> Ooh, the armory. <laughs> the witch doctor had an armory. Hello, armory! You like I like your laser weapons, which might mean that you have laser ammo, which is not what we need. They had ten bullets in the armory! Best armory ever! Oh, wait, no. Two plasma grenades. That's good. The fiends have their own bar, really? 
Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, gonna kill these fiends. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, give me some more shotgun shells. I don't want to make any judgmental remarks here, but living in a cave is not a great idea. Not a good fire escape plan. Not really, and also it's very dank and it's not good on your lungs. Yeah, ventilation's probably poor. Greetings, douchebag! What is it? Uh, I took care of Shogun! I wasn't sure if you were serious when you took that on. There's no questioning your commitment now. That should dampen the fiend spirits for a while, so I'm free to travel. Are you ready to go? How do you know I actually took care of it? Regardless, let's get going! Okay, let's put that pit boy to good use. Here are the coordinates for the vault. But before we head out there, I want to see this old man for myself. If he is who he claims to be, I at least want to look him in the eyes. See what sort of man he is. Chalk it up to dumb curiosity. Let's get going. We could describe him for you. Decrepit. Rambling. Yeah, do you want me to give you a simulation of his story? <clears throat> Please don't! It goes on forever! Back when I was 12. No! Was Welcome back to the town of beloved yet neglected companions. Play your cards right, Bradley, and this is where you could live. See Rusty right there? We don't ever talk to him anymore. But he's cool, ain't he? They're just staring at each other. What are you looking at, cockwipe? <laughs> Alright, let's see if... It was life-saving medication! Jesus, he's dead. Here I was, ready to spit in his eye, and he... Hold on, that's blood. Small caliber headshot. Very clean. Professional. Oh! Somebody was after him. Why would they go to the trouble when he was on his deathbed? I don't know. What the hell have you gotten me into here? Did he say anything about the stash? Did he mention other interested parties? What the fuck is going on here? He literally mentioned nothing. Look, man, I don't know shit about shit. I'm as much in the dark as you are. So you keep saying, this was not a robbery or some random murder. It was an expert execution. Believe me, I can distinguish the handiwork. I say we walk out of here and forget about this entire thing. It isn't worth the trouble. Well, you're gonna forsake this treasure? Yeah, there's no telling what could turn up. I think we should keep going. For the record, I think this is a mistake. But a deal is a deal, and I can't stomach the idea of you claiming that loot without me. <laughs> yeah! I want to tool up before we do anything else. Let's head back to Westside, and then we'll start off for the bunker. I guess he's not gonna mind if we steal his drugs then. Yep, free drugs for me. All you have to do is reach him now, Zack! Oh, you could just... <laughs> <laughs> Here's your inheritance. One whiskey bottle. Spend it wisely. Well, this is an auspicious occasion. Who the hell are you? I thought I was looking for a generic messenger, not the courier. Quite a reputation you've developed in the Mojave. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Why don't you screw off? The late Mr. Sellers had a certain key in his possession that was given to you. Apparently, Mr. Sellers neglected to inform you of his contractual obligation to my employer. The aforementioned key was to be passed to my employer upon Sellers' death. You could call it life insurance. Unfortunately, Mr. Sellers elected to break the contract, as he employed you to deliver the key to Mr. Bradley. This is a problem. I will not mince words, Courier. I know full well your reputation, your abilities, but I require that key. I've met avocados with more attitude than you. Now get out of my face before you accidentally hurt yourself. You fuck! I'll... I'll... Fuck! I'll cut your kidney! <laughs> Wow, okay. <laughs> Hang on, that's a nice 22 you have there. <laughs> Too bad that it's uh, a 22. We are now in a storm of fuck, my friend. Are we? That guy was syndicate, no doubt about it. Connected and dangerous. Fuck my life. He came here armed with a 22 long rifle pistol. What an idiot! What is a syndicate? Organized crime and then some. I butted heads with a few of their low-level guys outside New Reno. They're all over the NCR, connected with Brahmin barons, politicians, law enforcement. It was just a matter of time before they showed up here. Thing is, they wouldn't have sent that guy if the key wasn't worth it. Seeing as to how we're already on their radar, we may as well follow through and track down those keys. We've got nothing to lose now. The letter specified the coordinates for a place called Linus Cavern, located in the Mesquite Mountains. Yeah, let's see what we can find there. Oh boy. So, how do I look? 
Like I belong? You look like a made man. We'll have to go kill a couple more members of the syndicate so you can have one as well. Yeah, let's all get one. <laughs> yeah. I had just purchased a red shirt that I very much liked. And it was quite comfortable, you see. It, it fit very nicely around the torso. Anyway. Oh, anyway, they had just installed a new stoplight in town. And I decided to head down to the malt shack to see what the hubbub was about this new stoplight that they had installed. And I anyway, can't, I can't help but notice you're tying some sort of noose and affixing it to the rafters. 